The Federal Reserve is warning of potentially more rate hikes to come as it tries to cool consumer demand and drive prices down from a 40-year high. Since March, the Fed has already hiked short-term interest rates by 1.5%. But what does that really mean for you? Will rate hikes result in higher interest rates on credit cards, home and auto loans, home equity lines of credit, and small business loans? For borrowers, that means those products are only getting more expensive. But for savers, there is a silver lining. Early in the pandemic, when the Fed was cutting interest rates to stimulate the economy, the average rate for a typical savings account was around a paltry 0.06%. Now with the Fed's benchmark rate rising, banks are starting to follow suit, but don't expect them to mirror those rate hikes exactly. What the Fed does with interest rates is only one factor banks consider when setting rates. They also take into account how much money you have deposited and how much their competitors are offering. Some banks, especially online banks, are starting to offer interest rates on savings accounts of 1% or more. You want to put your money where it will be welcomed with open arms and higher yields. Experts recommend doing some comparison shopping and considering switching banks to take advantage of the latest rate increase. Online banks, smaller community banks, and credit unions typically offer higher interest rates than large national banks. Fed Chair Jerome Powell predicts the central bank could raise interest rates another one and three quarters percent over the remainder of the year to bring inflation down from its current 8.6 percent to the Fed's target goal of 2 percent. Now, if the Fed proves to be as aggressive as it's expected to be, experts predict interest on high yield savings accounts could top 3 percent by the end of this year. When trying to decide on the right type of savings account, evaluate your time horizon. If you'll need the money in less than a year or are using it as an emergency fund, then you'll want to find an option that gives you easy access to your money and avoid those that tie up your funds for too long. If you're willing to commit your money for a year or more, then a certificate of deposit or I-bond, which are also seeing rates rise, could be better suited to your financial goals. Wherever you choose to keep your money, be sure to always deal directly with a federally insured financial institution. Doing a little homework now can yield you and your money bigger returns down the road. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.